Morning. How D? How are you, Leroy? Good day of football yesterday. And, good day uh, of football yesterday, dude. Good day of football. Good day of football. Um, and that's not, not just good. because the Dolphins won. No, and, no. Can I just of... can I just say this? Dude, it's the start of the show. You don't have to ask permission. Of course, you can say whatever you want. Your name is I am show. so tired of a football game starting. Mm -hmm. And within five minutes of the game and four plays. Yep. The text chat that I'm on. See, they suck. They got to fire. I'm like, they've been, playing football, for, they've been don't, playing football for three minutes. Why don't you get out of this chat? You are because in a, you're in a very out, negative chat. If I get out, then I'm then I miss the uh, the um, the golf interactions where we so figure muted. out who's playing. So muted. I don't know. Last time I muted it, I lost it. Oh, <laughs> so I had to do a whole nother. So the I, old it's, it's, it, dude, it's excruciating. And and like, was it I'm the like, two a fumble? Was that the the thing that got everybody crazy? Like, no, what, no. It's like, I'm trying no, to think. Like, no, what was? Look, wait, wait, wait. It it it's it's unbelievable. I'm trying First to think. Well, what was the early negative play that would have gotten them? Wait, he's looking. He's I'm looking. looking. Dr. Toboggan says there's the Eichenberg Bowl. I know. Who knew there was another Eichenberg out there? Yeah. <laughs> another Eichenberg. Apparently, the Eichenbergs took over the stadium. Eichenbergs oh. galore, dude. Yeah, but two negatives make a positive. So it was good. It was good. <laughs> Apparently, uh, this is uh, 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 Liam Eichenberg has learned under the tutelage of Christian Wilkins after all those years of Christian Wilkins abusing him in, in practice because apparently, uh, Liam Eichenberg, what he's good at now is really annoying his opponents. Oh, so he's he's offensive Christian Wilkins. Apparently so. This is two weeks in a row. He's he's gotten he's gotten his opponents to do something stupid to him. All right, you ready? Credit where credits do. All right, here's how it starts. Right, twelve fifteen. If Crosby leaves two alone, we win. That was the first text. Okay. I replied. That's why you need a guy like Engold, mm -hmm. right? Because he does a lot he of that yep, and yep. stuff like that. Right. Reply. Uh, Durham Smythe, or no, that's who's supposed to replace him. We just spitballing uh, here, just right? Spitballing. He I won't now. First drive, ready? Yep, nine minute drive. Nice, no penalties. Was a nice drive, right? Somebody talking about tailgate. Here we go, and here's where it starts. Ready? The next drive, so their receivers like couldn't be more wide open over and over. Well, that Bowers was a somebody, Wait, somebody, and then somebody replies as we move into the action later in the second quarter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> wait, and look, so we all are playing defense against this guy's aggressive negative offense. Yet, they have three points. Yep. And yet, Miami is winning. <laughs> so seems like, okay right now. Wait, it doesn't seem too negative. Wait, no, no. They're making Gardner look like Brady. Well, that's a, that's a bit strong. <laughs> so wait, you're watching the same 10-3 game? <laughs> then get off the field on third down. <laughs> that's <funny. laughs> like, <laughs> the very long drives. I, I don't remember a football game like that where there was like four right, drives yeah. for a half. That you know, was crazy. You know, you know why? Because everybody was just – look, when you play the Dolphins, you know you're going to get some type of cover two and they're going to deny the deep part of the field. Yep. And what defenses do, and, and this is um, what cover two is. And, and and you could, Antonio Pierce has played in this. Uh, Marvin, Marvin Lewis has taught this his whole career, right? If the offense runs more than X amount of plays, I think it's nine to 10 plays, they're going to screw up the drive. So just don't give up any big plays. Gotcha. So that's why it looked that way because on the on the other side, they're going, Gardner Minshew ain't gonna complete five passes, go all the way down the field. Yeah, they did let so, they did let Minshew off the hook a couple times too. So 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 that's why the that's why the game started that way. Right? I'm Until somebody sense. gets a substantial lead and you gotta force the issue, you're okay with sitting back and allowing them to do that. And guess what happened? The Dolphins went down the field and scored touchdowns, right? Mm -hmm. The Raiders came down and kicked field goals. 
So that means now you have forced the Raiders to get out of that show and have to take more chances because they can't return the, the, the same energy you are on the offensive side. That's right. how the game played out, right? Mm -hmm. Here we go. The defense can't stop the lowly Raiders. Well, that's fair. Same old bleep. Is Ralph at the game? Prevent defense, prevent offense. Was Ralph at the game? Yes, he goes. He goes to every game. It's heat too. Same thing with Heat. You guys are bothering Ralph. Ralph's just trying to have a good time. Hey, I can see things you can't in TV. Really? He's saying that to you? Yes, to the group. I need to use that. So somebody replied, should be a coach. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> D is horrible. Gave up six bleeping points. Fire them all. And the GM, especially him. This That's sounds like somebody's him. drunk. No, they're making fun of him. Yeah. Look around the league at the scores. What are good teams doing to bad teams? That's, you know, negative Nancy. Yeah, I get that. I mean, like, but the Dolphins, ne there was never a point where the Dolphins were in danger of losing this right. game. Wait. Somebody replied, Pitt is beating the Ravens 6-0. Packers 7-0 over the Bears. Mm -hmm. Can we stop them on this first drive? I feel bad for the punter. All right. I, I think I'm uncle. Like, can you get me to the juicy part? I think I'm uncle on this. All right. Let's get to the to the end of the oh, game. You, there's the, there's gets, more? There really right. is more. Nope. He's looking. Wide up. open again. Ooh. And again. I go, Ralph, he's really good. We don't know what that means, though, Leroy. You have no it's context. The, it, but, but it's. it's times. Is it Bowers? Here. I'm assuming it's Bowers. It's Bowers. Bowers is always it's, wide it's Bowers. He's it's really Bowers. good, though. But yeah. That's what I just said. Right? But here's the problem. Every time they complete a pass, yeah. run for more than two and a half yards, Yep. he fires up the bum guns. He's drunk, very clearly. Right. It, I mean, it, it's, it's, it, it's, it's the craziest thing. The uh, Dolphin Kane says that Julian Hill, five yards away from that anytime. Yeah, touchdown. I thought about he's it. Always, he's always five yards away from anytime. And, and if he gets too close, he fumbles. It was like, oh. <laughs> once he caught it and he was at the five, I'm like, nah, we're never. Wait, they're not going to throw it to him. Once he had two catches, I'm like, they're not going to risk it again. <laughs> I was shocked that they targeted him three times. I was like, there's no way. That was, was as close as he was going to get. I knew my money was up in smoke there, Dolphin Kane. It, it was one of those games where, and the Raiders play a lot of games like this, and you don't realize it. They hang in there, they hang in there, they hang in there, and then – you just uh, pull away, right? Because either they can't score or eventually their defense gets worn down a little bit. And But you got to be patient with it. And so see, they uh, were. You see on the John U. Smith touchdown, you see Tyreek Hill trolling Antonio Pierce. Yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> And you can just see Antonio Pierce furious. He's oh, like, yeah. Ooh. You, you can tell like Antonio Pierce, the player, had to like, like the coach had to come out there because I think the player wanted to go there and yeah. sock Tyreek Hill right in the face and yeah. said he just gave him the most the most meek dismissive wave of Ugh. yeah. But you knew like his initial yeah. reaction was I want to go punch this guy right in the face. Well, here's for, the problem: snowboarding in front of me because Jonu Smith. I don't know what the hell his defense was doing, but Jonu just, Smith. Wait, he ran down the field. He goes, "Wait a minute, nobody's ah, nobody." <laughs> Nobody's covering me. Can you believe this? He's like, well, I've never seen anybody that open this season. I, I mean, oh that's, my god. That's that's why I would like them to take and put Tyreek and Waddle on the same side every now and then, because when you're when you're that decisive on, like, listen, they're covering Tyreek and they're covering another wide receiver, and right. they just totally dismiss Janu Smith. I got now say that, in the but... future. This is going to open up stuff for Tyreek and and Waddle. That's great, but what does Coach Ralph say? <sighs> What's his advice? Does he want them both on the same side? No, you know, no. Oh God, it, it's I'm telling you. Soon as the kickoff, can't even reach the end zone. Oh my goodness, this kicker. We need a new kicker. Every kicker in the NFL is kicking it out of the back of the end zone. I say, Ralph, you know, they sometimes making... they purposely kick it in play to get a return. I like Ross Tucker making fun of kickers yesterday in front of Jay Feely. He goes, you guys can't even get to the neutral zone. 
<laughs> Jay Feely is responsible for all kickers. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. He's Who like, knew? you guys kick 55 yard field goals. You can't hit it 20 in a 20 yard area. That's crazy. It was crazy. But yeah, man, look, did what they had to do yesterday. The Dolphins, yeah. uh, they, they did that zero punts. So the, uh, the, uh, that the, was crazy, the, right? Yeah. But, but it, here's, it's funny because when you think of this offense and you think of the high power um, offense that it can be, you know, this offense was designed to do stuff like this, like to be explosive while methodically moving the ball down the field. If you watch mm -hmm. San Francisco, that they do very similar things. And then what ends up happening is you look, you look at all the numbers at the end of the game and you go, whoo, wow, not yesterday. Yeah, not yesterday. Two couple, of, couple of upsets. Any, 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 uh, any ones like really surprised you? Uh, I was a little surprised how much the Chargers jumped on Cincinnati. And then Cincinnati yes. comes back and J.K. Dobbins had that sick-ass run. To, so you had a thriller there. Can't say I'm surprised Buffalo beat uh, Kansas City. Yeah, you know, it's Boston. almost like, you know what? Kansas City almost had like the same kind of season as the Canes. Like they haven't really been playing great offensively. Mm -hmm. You got that guy. And so nobody really worries about it. But in the back of your mind, you're thinking, you know, if they keep playing like this, it's going to bite them in the ass. Right. And and that's what happened. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to think, like, what was my... I got to say, I mean, the Broncos throttling the Falcons as bad they did. That that was a little like, whoa, because yeah. that was an important game for them, obviously. Yeah, you know, I, they're, uh, they're, they're kind of hold. They're 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 trying to. They got people nipping at the heels, and then I mean, look, I think yesterday we all got a taste of what it's like to be a Jets fan because when you need the Jets to do you a favor, not me, not <laughs> me. No! <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Wait, I'm glad you brought that up. Oh. I had this. I had it ready. Hold on. All right. Boom. For fifty million dollars a year, four MVPs, mm -hmm. and a Super Bowl seventeen years ago. You know, a long time ago. Yep. Here's what I can give you: twenty-two of twenty-nine, four hundred eighty-four yards. Oof. Get, get out of here with this nonsense. And you know what they're going to say at the end of the year? Well, he had no help. That defense, they they regressed. Uh, like You got two of the most dominant receivers in the game? Stop. Crazy, dude. Your team is garbage. 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 Got, got, got run over by a quarterback they didn't even want to play. And... More importantly, the Browns. Holy oh, smokes. Dude. Whoa, what is going on? Wait, here's a stat for you. And I want to tell me. I, I'm, I'm going to give you this stat. And I want you guys to tell me, who do you think? Are you the Ralph against? of your Browns chat? No. No, I'm very positive. Here, you ready? You're not more positive than Bernie. No. You ready? Here. Thirty for forty-six, sixty-five percent completion percentage, three hundred and ninety-five yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Yep. That was the loser. Yeah. And they lost by twenty-one points. Sure did. What in the have you ever seen a stat line like that to a loser? It's pretty impressive. I was not aware of that. Four hundred. I gotta tell you, after I saw the final score, I didn't go looking for the Browns final. Uh, the Browns. No, I was team. watching it. I'm like, he can't. He's got look, look, there's a there's a there's a theory in sports towns. If you have something going too good, the karma can't spread too far over to everything else. And right now, the Cavaliers are undefeated, fifteen and zero, which I don't oh, believe. So, other sports are gonna pay. I think that well, people do believe that. You know, like the Panthers right now have the power in our town. Oh, so and that means the heat and the and the. And everybody else, it, it's it's a thought. I don't know if I believe it because I feel like there's been it. years. Wait a minute. I feel like there's been years where Tampa won like everything. But was it T Tampa won? What about Boston? 
Boston's probably done it. Boston, but, like, Virginia with New England Cleveland, and, and Cleveland, the Celtics. Cleveland's the first team to be 15 and 0 since the 73 win Warriors. And you had the you have the Browns Browning and you had Stepe. Oh, poor Stepe. Ooh. Oh, poor Stipe. John Jones, even with the little pudge belly. <laughs> right? Boy. You see the way oh, Stepe was all swollen. Stepe was all swollen and, and John Look Jones great. walked in there with a little gut. John Jones basically Damn. thought, what does heavyweight mean? Because it was just, it was just <laughs> heavy, heavyweight John, mean I don't have to lose weight. John Jones spent years being like, oh, I got to properly move up to heavyweight. I got to properly do it. And mind you, this was lighter than his first fight. And he looked like he just walked out of the all-you-can-eat buffet and basically beat Stipe to, to a pulp with a beer belly. Is is that, un, it, I mean. Scary, scariest can I, in the can I just like, That's the scariest man on the planet. Hey. I'm going to say this, and I don't care how little he fights because I've always had a problem with people saying he's the greatest, you know, heavyweight, and he doesn't fight that much because of all the off-field stuff. But I can't think of a person on this planet that could beat that man. No, they, anybody? I mean, the guy everybody wants to see him fight is Tom Aspinall. But Tom Aspinall, but he said that he see the thing was it was interesting after this fight was that John, when he talked to Joe and the crowds there, he kind of hinted that he was into it, like he was he was gonna start going. But then when he got to the media, he was like, "Yeah, but I need I need a uh, fu money for that fight," and and like Dana's sitting here and he's saying like, "Oh, it's gonna be the biggest fight we ever did," which it's not gonna be the biggest fight they ever do, but it's going to be a very big fight. And what do you and, think is the biggest fight they ever did? uh john versus uh connor versus nate diaz oh really yeah wow okay connor nate diaz two was was uh the biggest fight they did probably connor john uh jose aldo before so that. it's all connor so yeah. that's why he acts a fool that's why yeah connor connor tweeted out connor tweeted out when uh somebody put that clip out and then connor just comment tweeted and he goes now now <laughs> <laughs> He, but but that's that's kind of when you know you got the power, right? <laughs> that's when you know. That's when you know you got the juice. When, we, when like you know the whole sport will stop. We had a ma- fight. We had a major damage is done, uh, and lots to get to. We obviously got to get into the the Tyson debacle from Friday night as well. Uh, we'll take a break. Back after this. Previously on Tobin and Leroy. Now nah, welcome back. Tobin and Leroy here with you. 560 WQAM. Take you guys up until 2 here on the program. Miami Dolphins victorious yesterday over the Raiders 34-19. Dolphins now 4-6 and six on the season. Raiders fall to 2-8. and eight. They suck. Uh, Dolphins now will uh, turn their attention to the Patriots, who lost yesterday to the Rams. And uh, obviously, the Dolphins need that to. Uh, the Patriots look better ever since uh, Drake May took over. They definitely look more viable for sure. They yeah. definitely look more viable so, for sure. So that's uh, that's something that you got to keep an eye on, especially with uh, you know the Dolphins giving up some some big plays yesterday. The tackling was uh, was less than ideal on some drives. By the way, that's really that's it's really hard to do because keep in mind. If you're in an open field like that as a running back and that guy tackles you, it's going to be pretty difficult for you to have a job. And on the other side, it's considered a great play if he tackles a running back in open field or anybody for that matter. So, you talk about the one that Kato, uh, Kohu yeah, with on? Kato, yeah. Yes. It's not, it's not as easy as people make it sound like. Right, they make it sound oh, it like looks, it looks bad. It looks bad. It looks oh, terrible. It looks bad. But again, any sudden move by that running back, and you stop, mm-hmm. then he runs by you. So what you do is you just accelerate, pick a spot, go try to hit it. I've already looked at uh, not to look ahead, even though I, I do that, but I've already started looking at Green Bay forecast for next uh, for next Thursday. Mm-hmm. Snow, huh? Snow. Oh, it's gonna be cold. It's gonna be cold. Let me tell you, November weather up north <clears throat> is tricky. <sighs> when you get to Thanksgiving or later, there's no doubt. Dolphins might have to save Thanksgiving. 
because uh, did you see what happened with the Giants? No, what happened? Giants have officially benched Daniel Jones, which means we have a Super Bowl matchup of Cowboys, Giants, Cooper Rush, and Tommy Cutlets, Tommy DeVito. (laughs) That's a woof. Oof. Like, I... You what are know, we supposed to do? Talk to our families? You, you, know, you know what else they should do? Hmm? They should fire the guy who ever decided to let Saquon Barkley go because that would help That's Daniel true. Jones. Oh, he's getting fired. <laughs> oh, that guy's getting fired. Hey, you're like, dude, dude, he's getting fired. Oh, he's getting fired. That's the, There's no doubt about that. And he, yeah. I love the way it wasn't the owner that came in and uh, Hard Knight said, you really want to get rid of Saquon? I really like him. I hate to see him in another, especially a division rivals jersey. Ah, don't worry about it, boss. Don't see, worry about it. It's that thinking about running backs right there that's going to get a bunch of people in the league fired. Mm-hmm. Because a running back is almost as important as offensive line as far as protecting your quarterback, keeping the defense honest. If you can't run the football and the defensive line can tee off on your quarterback, that makes things much more difficult for their success. Kind of feels like uh, McDaniel's rats off a ship on Mostert, huh? Kind of feels that weird. way. Uh, yeah, they, it, it kind of it it does kind of look like he's uh, had enough. Streets need a body, and we found out who the who the body was. Well, he very clearly got he he did very clearly was getting punished on Monday Night Football. But even he in didn't this, have no game, carries, right? No carries, and then in this one. He didn't have any targets, and he had three carries for negative two yards. Yeah, he did. Did he have a what do they say? Did he have a hip injury? A hip injury. He was fine. He was on the sidelines. Yeah, he looked then, normal. Then he went back. He went back in after that. Did he? Yes. Yeah. I thought after they said it, they did. showed him on the sidelines. No, they said normal. most sir. No, he went back in. Okay, but this I is apologize. Weird. I thought that he was fine. They said hip injury, and then he's returning kicks. And I'm like, well, I mean, no, that's what I'm saying. He went back in, and he played offense. Too. Oh, 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 I thought you meant he went back into the locker room. No. No, 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 no. That was they very just confused. Said, they just put it on the, on TV that questionable return. And and then he was back in the game. Yeah. So I don't know. Probably ought to put them hip pads on, fella. Jeez. I don't know. Like it you can do that when you have a lot of talent at the position. Mm-hmm. Some teams don't have that luxury. For sure. Right. So I mean the edge is playing well. And the other thing is, is that with all the different ways you can give A-Chan the ball, it kind of makes him more important in that role anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm still, look, what did I tell you guys I'm not a fan of? That outside run stuff. The sweep, they're like, those guys on defense are too fast, man. You very, very rarely outflank the defense unless you're New Orleans Saints and you let big fat ass Taysom Hill just go down the sideline, which is amazing. That right there was unbelievable that you let Taysom Hill run down the sidelines. I'm gonna be honest with you, you you reference this Browns team too much. Like oh, it's over, dude. There's two games oh. I gotta watch. You know, there's two, games. Like, there's two games. There's two games I have to I have to watch every week. You don't really have to watch their games anymore, dude. Let's start start. Here's what you need to start doing. Give them reports on Cam Ward. That's what you need to start doing. <laughs> Give them reports on Shador yeah. Sanders. But, but, oh, man, I don't know. It, Dade South says, uh, HN ditched the Guardian cap. So I get, so his mom probably lifted the suspension. She goes, okay, it's been a month. <laughs> That's probably what it was. Um, but yeah, man. They, 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 took, uh, they took care of business yesterday, man. They took, they took care, care of business. They took care of business. Care of business. They took care of business. They um, had to had to keep for, pace for for from the perspective of playing offense. Mm-hmm. They played really good offensive football. Maybe not the numbers everybody would like, but to be able to be that consistent, that methodical on a number of occasions, and never have a punt, then you're playing good offensive football, even though you don't score you know, a boatload of points. So John, John Smith, who's, uh, I mean, just had a really, really good season. Yeah. He, uh, this was him after the game. He says on Tua, best QB in the world, man. Best in the world, man. 
You got the best quarterback in the world, man. You know what I mean? You know, when you makes things a lot easier for everybody else. And, uh, you know, those guys that came in, um, you know, you know, during that time when, when he was down, they, they did a great job and, um, you know, helped us as, as much as they could. Um, and, uh, you know, showed a lot of grit and, and a lot of selfless, selflessness. And, you know, we're happy to have those guys, man. And, um, you know, but, you know, one's who he is for a reason. So, um, you know, we're just excited to have him back and excited to get back to, to, to where we need to be. Pause up there. Hey, notice hmm? he didn't want to throw the other guys on the bus that were playing quarterback when Tua wasn't. Yeah, they know, though. <laughs> we all know, dude. We don't have to say it. We know. We've seen hey, him. I'm glad to see they using the hell out of John New Smith. Like, yeah. and, and and the defense looks damn near shocked. Mm -hmm. Like, huh. no, nah, he's been a monster, dude. He's been a monster. He's been great. He's been, he's been, uh, you know, it was a, a bit of a slow roll, but like, by, by since what? Since like week four, this guy's been, been a go to. Yep. Yep, he's been absolutely fantastic. And then uh, that's going to help. That what we have one person is. though. We have one person though, who has to answer for their crimes. Ooh. That person's name is Antonio Pierce, because oh. he called for Tua to retire. Oh. And after the game, he was asked about it. You made some comments uh, regarding Tua and his concussion history earlier this year. Did you have any talks with him, maybe on the field uh, at any point in the game? No, I got the ultimate respect for Tua, uh, former player. That was it. That's good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Damage is done, my friend. Wait, what, what? Damage is what? done, my friend. What was that? What was, what was the last? You Damage just, is done. You just said former things player. like you. Did you have any conversation? No. Uh, former player. Former player. Ultimate respects. Breakfast. Two eggs. Right, well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't be saying scrambled eggs, man. Don't. Hey, well, don't yeah, sorry, we got us in that position. I apologize. Wow. But that was funny. Hey, yeah, listen. Scary. Can't scramble eggs nowadays. I guarantee, though, this one they're too expensive. I know that Antonio Pierce is like I've been in his position before, right? Because his heart was in the right place. All right, his heart was in the right place when he told Tua to retire. However, there was part of me that thinks because these coaches are so week to week, I bet you he forgot they played the Dolphins when he said that that week two. Yeah, I bet you he didn't even realize. And like, as soon as he's like, "Oh, this is being brought up as fodder." Yup. Yep. I mean, it, it's a <clears throat> emotional reaction, mm -hmm. but the thing that I have said, and I'll still say to anybody is, you got to understand why these guys play. And as a former player, to know what you put your body through and what you went and played with and some of the injuries, you sucked it up and went out and gave whatever you could you should be more understanding than kind of dismissive of it. And that's kind of what he was. That's the only problem I had with it. I get what he was trying to say, but he should also follow it up with, I played in this league for a long time. I know what I went on the field with and the things I tried to do and what I played with. So I understand what he's going through. Yeah. Well, he didn't though. He just, he didn't. He, no, just, he, he just described himself, former player, to a quarterback, ultimate respect. I'm like, what is this, Mad Libs? We know. <laughs> Thank you. Like, long walks on the beach. He's like, I'm a Taurus. He's like, what do you want to do? I'm two and eight. I hope I have a job next year. Yeah. That crazy owner sits in the box. He's starting to look like his father, the Crypt Keeper, with a wig on. What? What are you looking it's, for? It's really the worst. I mean, it's the worst haircut it's literally I've ever the worst. seen in your life. That he travels 100 miles to get. A hundred yeah. miles to get in a van. Wow. And then he's bringing that puppy to Miami. Woof. Gross. Man. You know, I keep thinking it, of, there was an episode, there was an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond, and they were sitting in a church, mm -hmm. and Raymond and Robert were sitting next to each other, and the guy in front of them had a hairpiece, and Ray was messing around with him, doing like this, and then Robert hit his arm <laughs> and hit him and his head went up to the side. What? <laughs> it was like, I could, Oh my goodness! I really so, like that character on TV. I've never been more shocked seeing. Stan oh, that guy yeah. is like, bad. hey, he is not funny. <laughs> not funny, dude. He is That's not funny. funny. Isn't that crazy? He owns. He owns club. the Vegas Improv. 
That's it's right. all over the place too. All like over got, the place. He's got that syndicated TV money, and like he loves stand-up comedy so much. But dude, I've I went to the improv to see that was the last before you gave me tickets, Marcos. Yeah, that was the last stand-up comedy show I saw. It was Brad Garrett, and I was like, this is terrible. Well, if you want to see him again, two hundred and ten dollars. What? So he's coming down here? No, no, no. This is at his comedy club. Wow. Yeah, on vivid seats. From two hundred and ten dollars. The cheapest ticket you can get. Vegas uh, is so expensive. One hundred and sixty-one. If you want to do cheap, you know, to see our boy Brad. Marcus has to be PC because he might he might make a Miami trip. (laughs) (laughs) Take a break.